I think he's crazy. I think he's crazy. Possibly. You damn right I'm talking shit. Yo, man, we finna break down this Blaha character one more time. You all seen the Stolen Valor video? That shit went viral. Over 100k views. Thank you. Shout out to the people. Fuck yeah. Now listen, he's back at it again. I don't know if you all seen the video. Um, I I'm at a loss for words when it comes to Blaha. I don't know what the fuck to even... You, you can't break down that level of insane. You just can't fucking do it. I've tried. I've tried. Now, let's break this video down. First off, let's notice in the background, the guy is not, he didn't have his usual setup now. He has uh, a pistol <laughs> and a Spartan hat with a Superman shirt on. What the fuck? Now, normally he has the fucking bullet maker machine sitting over here. He's, he's not fucking around. He's not fucking making bullets anymore. The bullet making machine is gone. Notice the bullet making machine is gone. He's not making bullets no more. He has the banger out. He's ready to party. <laughs> he's ready to party. Now, he's tripping. He's triggered as hell because Lane Norton didn't mention him in um, a list of top five fucking people on some... I don't even watch Lane Norton, so I don't really even know who the fuck is on the list. You know, just by watching the Blah Hot video and just thinking about making this video, whoever's on that list, I want to watch the fuck out. You might want to... Hey, I'm telling you, man. The dude's on the... He has a banger. It's like I got my, my other phone. Banger, Spartan hat, Superman shirt. Insane in the membrane. And he's just up there talking and blabbing and he's... He's trying to make the video 10 minutes long, talking about just random shit. He keeps rehashing the whole thing about Lane Norton and his marital situation. That's that man's business. That shit's like fucking years ago. You know, whatever happened with that happened with that. You know, I'm not talking about that here. That's that man's business. But he's triggered about that. But he's really fucking triggered that his name isn't on this list. Triggered to the point that he put away the, the fucking bullet maker. And he brought the banger out. He has a banger sitting there with the clip. With the bullets in the clip. If you look, you can see bullets in this motherfucking gun. There's bullets in this shit. You got the clip right here. Just everything set up. Bullets right there. Just letting you know. I don't know, man. What are the uh, the rules on YouTube? What are the guidelines? You know, the uh, terms of service. Is, are you allowed to? That's low-key bullying if you want to keep it G-real. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, apparently they're letting him get away with it. Sitting on TV mentioning people for years and years making bullets doesn't really seem to trigger the algorithm. You know, or the FBI or the CIA or someone who can kick this guy's door in and snatch him the fuck up. He said crazy things over the years. Tons of crazy shit. Watch the um, Stolen Valor video. He said a bunch of weird shit in that video and it's all there. Edited up, cool holograms, the whole shit fucking bang. This dude here, if you notice the first, I, I pick shit apart. I'm a real observant person. He gets really triggered. He's angering himself in this video to the point that he looks down a few times at his gun. Like he's talking to the camera, boom, boom, boom. And then he says a few keywords. First time I noticed he looked down at his gun, I went back and watched again. He said, I forgot exactly what he fucking said. Now, now that I'm on camera, I'm drawn fucking brain freeze but if you go back and watch it and just watch the first time he triggers himself that he looks down at his gun there's something about lane norton oh fuck i forgot i hate that man watch the video go watch that crazy shit you'll see it because he does it a bunch of times and he says little keywords he's talking about the female and he looks down at his gun just his glance you know you can read people's body language you can really see you know that's a lot of people are experts at that you want to tell someone's lying Look at their body language. They can't look you in the eye. They keep looking off to the left. They keep doing all these little hand gestures. They're real fidgety, tapping their leg, you know, they're scratching. They're doing a lot of crazy shit. You can see a lot about a person's intent and the truth or what, whatever the fuck they're about by their body language. And he says a few things. And the first time he says something, he just kind of like, look down at the banger. And I'm just like, okay, watch the fuck out. I want to play it right here on the screen, but I don't want to, you know, I'm thinking YouTube's fucking, probably their fucking rules won't allow that shit, I don't know, so I'm not even gonna, anyway, it's fucking crazy, so he's looking down at the gun, I noticed he did this maybe, uh, shit, I would say probably at least five or six, maybe even seven times, I just stopped counting it, you know, at some point, but I'm watching this shit, and he's like triggering himself, now, the fact that the only thing this really, this guy really has a grief about is the fact he didn't put him on the list. That's what the video is about. I didn't get put on this list of top fucking fitness people and I didn't get an honorable mention. It's like, dude, no one takes you serious in the fitness industry. The 
fuck? Seriously? Like, I'd rather take fitness advice from fucking Toucan Sam than <laughs> fucking Jason blah ha Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, come on now. What the fuck? So, his brief should be about not being in the fucking video, you know, mentioned in the top five. Yet he's trying to paint the narrative as, of uh, Lane Norton as being this horrible person. And that's all, that's that man's business when it comes to his personal life. You know, he's pretty much, that shit's in the past, you know. But he keeps bringing it up because he wants to run the narrative. Because if you run that narrative that Lane Norton's the bad guy, Lane Norton's the bad guy, you kind of blow right past the fact that you got a dude sitting here on camera with a banger on the fucking table. And a Spartan fucking helmet, wearing a Superman shirt, doing the fucking people's eyebrow. In what world? <laughs> like, this is crazy. In the world of, sh of shootings and shit, you know, with all respect, you know, um, it's sad what happened in the New Zealand shooting. Um, you know what I'm saying? Especially on the eve of something like that. And then you turn on, you make a video with a gun out. And you're sitting there on the table and you're mentioning the guy and you're low-key looking down at this gun at triggering keyboards that you're triggering yourself because you're now you're bringing back this traumatic incident that's it's obviously all that shit that happened with you in the past is traumatic he spent six figures trying to take me down no he didn't spend six figures going after you trying to take you down he spent six figures to get you to leave him the fuck alone because you were doing what you're doing now is bringing him up and you got a fucking gun on the table dude he probably needs to spend ten billion dollars to get the whole fucking team of lawyers around the U.S. to get you the fuck away because you obviously didn't get the fucking picture. Like you're still mentioning the guy, you've been mentioning him for years. The level of crazy is just, I, you know, I can go on and on and on about the psyche of a Jason Blaha. Came out, you know, his history. Let's talk about his fucking history. Shit, the guy's fucking weird. He threatened me one time in the video. Or in the comment section on his videos, you know, I was making a video trying to trigger a response so I can get some of views coming in, bitch, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the fucking views, man. And, you know, he will not acknowledge me for shit, but one time he fucking acknowledged me. And he asked me, do you own an AK-47 or some shit like that? And I'm looking at that like low-key, you fed to me? <laughs> I will steal your role, bruh, because I'm not, there's not going to be no shootout at the OK Corral fucking with me. But anyway, you know, threats, threats. He could, you know, I was obviously getting to him. The, the um, Stolen Valor video, I obviously got to him. Comments, you know, I'm in his comment section. Nah, I'm, I'm in his comment section. I'm just like, hey, blah, I'm gonna expose you. I'm gonna expose you. I'm not threatening the guy at all. But he fucking, you know, he got to the point where he threw a gun threat out there. He didn't want to come out there and say, I'm just gonna fucking blow your fucking head off if you keep fucking with me. That's what he wanted to say, but he didn't say it. You know, he's asked me, do you have an AK-47? Because I do. And if I ever see you, because like he says, if uh, he ever goes to an expo and someone approaches him, even if you're like, for instance, let's just say he went to an expo and Kenny K.O. found out. That would probably be the end of Kenny K.O. that day. Laha has made it very fucking clear that I'm blowing people <laughs> back into the leaving people in the past. If you fuck with me at a fucking expo, which is fucking crazy, which I think he probably wouldn't get into an expo if the security is doing their fucking job. And if he, you know, announces he's going to an expo, I'm pretty sure the security is going to be alerted. The staff, everyone involved in organizing the event is going to be alerted. So they're going to be watching his ass. They're probably going to pat him down at the door. Probably put one of those stickers on the fucking window saying no guns. So you probably, you probably get checked right there at the door. But, you know, this is not a perfect world, obviously. Um, yeah, it will be the end of Kenny Keogh, but I'm getting sidetracked. Let's talk about the crazy now. The level of crazy in this video is astronomical. I think it's very dangerous on a serious note, on a fucking serious note, because, you know, guns and shit like that, it's a very dangerous thing. Like I said, on the eve of the New Zealand massacre, you know, all these people got killed and injured by a crazy guy, allegedly connected to PewDiePie. Um, I'll make a video on that too. I have some real serious things I want to say about that crazy shit in PewDiePie. Fucking use another one. So, yeah, it's, you know, on the eve of something like that for a guy to come out and just make a video and just blatantly have a gun there. You could have had a glass of juice. I mean, you could have had his phone. I got my phone in my video. I don't, you know, I got fucking samurai swords at the top. You don't see me sitting around here swinging swords and shit, looking like Captain fucking Goofy. Like, it's just fucking weird, you know? But me swinging a sword on the camera, not really having any real beefs with anyone, just kind of, you know, being goofy, doing some YouTube shit, you know? Versus someone who has a real grief with someone, and he's angry about not being put on the list, and he has a fucking gun right there on the table. I think this shit really needs to be looked at, because, you know, I don't know if Lane Norton's in America, or is he overseas? I don't really know, I guess I don't watch the guy. You know, anyone on that list, anyone, you know, any fucking person on the planet Earth with this guy, remember, you're not on, he's not on planet Earth with you, you're on planet earth with him according to blah you know he's talked about getting blow torches and doing
throwing shit to people who was just fucking insane. You know it didn't fucking happen. So for him to get on there and portray that, he um, bowed towards the guy in the desert or wherever the fuck he was with some other army guys. That shit never fucking happened. So for him to get on and actually portray that shit and not come at it like a satire and a joke, like he really, really meant that shit. That fucking was crazy. So you're dealing with that level of crazy. Go watch the Stolen Valor video. Me and my boy uh, Dudley, we break that shit down. We get it, you know, we get at him low key. Um, 100,000 people plus like the video. So we didn't like it. I probably got, I don't know how many likes I got. I got a bunch of fucking views and shit. But, you know, people saw that. People kept coming back. They kept gravitating to it because they're looking at, you know, a crazy individual. And now we have him on camera, fucking gun on the table. I'm not going to leave that one alone. Something needs to happen. Something needs to happen. That's all I would have to say. At this point, I'm just rambling now. Um, I could break it down more, but. How, and how many ways can you fucking say crazy shit's going on there, man? So, I don't know, man. Just, you're on that list. Watch out. Shit. You never know. You know, you never know with someone like that. Go back and watch the video and be real serious and real attentive to what the fuck you're looking at. And watch how he says certain things. And then a few times he looked over at the phone as if he had, like, a text. Like, nobody's text. And then a few times when he's saying certain things, and he looks down at the gun. He's down at the gun. Like, he says something about harassing me. Yeah, I think that was the first time he looked down at he said something about Nate Norton um he paid somebody him paying a six figures and he harassing me he looked down at the gun it's like what the fuck you know you were harassing him what the fuck you're looking at the gun you know because psychologically in his mind he thinks he's the victim but in reality he was the one trolling and attacking this Lane Norton guy and threatening him and he mentioned his fucking kid you know what I'm saying and uh, you know you're crossing some fucking lines now when you mention someone's kid you know, you're crossing fucking lines. And Blaha crossed those lines. And Lane Norton, like, respectfully, you know, like any man would, was like, yo, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing any fucking games. And he felt like, you know, I'm pretty sure Lane Norton knows what crazy is. And he said, you know what? I have to spend money on these lawyers because no one's just going to pay six figures, you know, if that actually happened, you know. But allegedly, he paid six figures for lawyers to, you know, get Blaha to leave him the fuck alone. So when you put that type of money out, there's a lot of other fucking things out here you could be wanting to buy. You know what I'm saying? But spend it on lawyers? Obviously, there was a viable fucking threat. So, I don't think the guy just went out there and just, here, lawyers, here, you know, just for fucking views on YouTube. You know, no one does that. Um, it was a real viable threat. And as you can see now, crazy is crazy and crazy is back. And crazy is in full fucking attack. So, I don't know. I think everyone needs to fucking just be aware. If you're on that list, be aware. Even if you're not on the list, just fucking be aware. Kino Body, as weird as you are, fucking be aware. He mentions you like every fucking video. A lot of people don't I like some of the shit Kino Body does. He's fraudulent as fuck. But for me, it goes just as far as talking shit on the camera. Laha pulls out guns and he calls out names and who knows what's going on in that. Be careful, people. You know, in all seriousness, just watch your fucking back. Cut the tape.